शांति दिस इज द सकार मुरली ऑफ वन ऑफ फेब्रुअरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन फॉरगेट वट एवर यू हैव स्टडीड अप टू नाउ गो राइट बैक टू योर चाइल्डहुड For only then will you be able to pass this spiritual study. Question: What are the signs of the children who have received divine intellects? Answer: While seeing this old world with their physical eyes, they don't see it. It is constantly in their intellects. that this old world is now about to end that bodies are old and tamo pradhan and that souls too are tamo pradhan so why should anyone have love for them the father's heart is connected to the children who have such divine intellects only such children can stay in constant remembrance of the father and can also go ahead in doing service om shanti the spiritual father explains to you sweetest spiritual children Limited sannyasis renounce their homes and families because they believe that they will merge into the Brahm element, and that is why they believe they should renounce their attraction to the world. That is what they continue to practice. They go and stay in solitude. They are hatha yogis with knowledge of the elements. they believe that they will merge into the brahm element that is why they renounce their homes and families and end their attachment to them they have this interest however that attachment is not broken instantly they continue to remember their wives and children etc here you have to forget everything with your intellects of knowledge nothing is easily forgotten you now have this a limited renunciation all the sannyasis have remembrance too but their intellects believe that they will merge into the brahm element and that they therefore shouldn't have any consciousness of their bodies that is the path of hatha yoga they believe that they will shed their bodies and merge into the brahm element they don't know how they can go to the land of peace you now know that you have to go to your home when people used to come from abroad they understood that they had to come by a bombay you children also now have firm faith Many people say that your purity is good that your knowledge is good and that your organization is good the mothers work very hard because they explain tirelessly they use their bodies minds and wealth and this is why they are liked however those people would never have any thought of practicing this themselves is scarcely any emerge even the father says that only a handful out of multi billions emerges that is the ones who come to you however this old world is going to end you know that the father has now come whether you have a vision or not the conscience says that the unlimited father has come You also know that there is just the one father. 
that par lokik father is the ocean of knowledge a lokik father would never be called the ocean of knowledge it is the father who comes and gives you children his introduction you know that this whole world is not to end we have completed the cycle of 84 births we are now making effort to go back to the land of happiness by the land of peace we definitely have to go to the land of peace we then have to come back from there people are confused by these things when someone dies people think that he has gone to vaikuntha brackets paradise but where is paradise only the people of bharat know the name of paradise those of other religions don't know it they have just heard the name and seen pictures of it they have seen many temples of the deities just like the dilwala temple it was built at a cost of hundreds of thousands and millions of rupees they continue to build them deities are called vaishnavas they belong to the dynasty of vishnu they are pure anyway the golden age is called a pure world whereas this is an impure world the comforts of the golden age don't exist here here all the green etc everything has become tamo pradhan its taste is also tamo pradhan when daughters go into trance they come back saying that they drank subi ras packets mango juice and that it was very delicious here too when people eat food cooked by you they say that it is very tasty because you make it well everyone eats to their heart's content it isn't that it is tasty because you prepare it while in yoga no that is just practice some cook very well there everything is sadu pradhan and this is why it has a lot of strength when it becomes tamo pradhan its strength is reduced and then there are diseases and sorrow etc from that the very name is the land of sorrow there is no question of sorrow in the land of happiness we are going to a place where there is so much happiness that it is called the happiness of heaven you simply have to become pure and that is also for just this birth don't think about the future at least become pure now first of all think about who it is that is telling you this you have to give the introduction of the unlimited father you receive the inheritance of happiness from the unlimited father even your lokik fathers remember the par lokik father and their intellects go up above you children whose intellects have firm faith feel inside you that you are going to be in this world for only a few more days this body is like a shell the soul has also become like a shell this is called this interest you children now know the drama the part of the path of devotion has to continue all are engaged in doing devotion there is no need to dislike it sanyasis make people dislike it they all become unhappy at home they don't make themselves happy by going away no one can go back into liberation none of those who have come have been able to go back 
all are here not a single person has gone to the land of nirvana or the brahma element they think that so and so merged into the brahma element all of that is in the scriptures of the path of devotion the father says whatever there is in all of those scriptures it all belongs to the path of devotion you children are now receiving this knowledge and this is why there is no need for you to study anything however there are some who have the habit of reading novels etc they don't have full knowledge they are called kokurel gyani they go to sleep at night reading novels and so what would they so what would be their state here the father says forget everything you have studied engage yourself in this spiritual study it is god who is teaching you this and through it you will become deities for 21 births you have to forget everything you have studied so far go right back to your childhood consider yourselves to be souls although you see everything with those eyes see but don't see you have received divine intellects and divine eyes and so you understand that this whole world is old and it is now to end everything here is to turn into a graveyard and so why should you attach your hearts to it you now have to become those who belong to the land of angels you are now sitting between the graveyard brackets kabristan and the land of angels brackets paristan the land of angels is now being created you are now sitting in this old world but your intellect yoga has now gone there you are making effort for the new world you are now sitting in the middle in order to become the most elevated human beings no one knows about this most or species confluence is they don't even understand the meaning of the auspicious month of charity or the auspicious year the most auspicious confluence is has a very short duration if you join a university late you have to make a lot of effort remembrance is hardly able to stay in some maya continues to cause obstacles the father explains this old world is going to end although the father is sitting here and you are seeing everything your intellects are aware that all of this is going to end nothing will remain this is an old world and you have disinterest in it all bodily beings are also old bodies are old and tamo pradhan and souls are tamo pradhan what should we do on seeing such things none of those will remain so we have no love for them the father's heart is touched by the children who remember the father very well and who do service however all our children anyway there are so many children not everyone will see him they don't even know prajapita brahma they have heard the name prajapita brahma but they don't know what they would receive from him there is the temple to brahma they have portrayed him with a beard however no one remembers him because you do not receive the inheritance from him souls receive an inheritance from their logic fathers and from the par logic father no one even knows prajapita brahma this is wonderful as a father who doesn't give you an inheritance he must be a logic must he not there is a limited inheritance and the unlimited inheritance there is no other inheritance in between 
Although he is called Prajapita, there is no inheritance from him. This Alokic father also receives his inheritance from the Parlokic father. And so how could the Parlokic and so how could he give the inheritance? The Parlokic father gives it through him. He is the chariot. Why should you remember him? He himself has to remember that father. Those people think that you consider Brahma to be God. Tell them we don't receive the inheritance from him. We receive the inheritance from Sib Baba. This one is the agent in between. He too is a student like us. There is no question of fear. The father says at this time the whole world is Tamo Pradhan. You have to become Sato Pradhan with the power of yoga. You receive limited inheritances from your logic fathers. You now have to connect your intellects to the unlimited. The father says you are not going to receive anything from anyone except the one father. Not even from the deities. At this time, all are Tamu Pradhan. You receive inheritances from your logic fathers anyway. So what do you want from this Lachmi and Narayan? Those people think that they are immortal and that they never die, that they never become Tamu Pradhan. However, you know that those who were Satu Pradhan then went into the Tamu Pradhan stage. Shri Krishna is considered to be even more elevated than Lakshmi and Narayan because they are a married couple. Sri Krishna is pure from birth and this is why there is a lot of praise of Sri Krishna. They rock Sri Krishna in a cradle. They also celebrate the birthday of Sri Krishna. Why do they not celebrate the birthdays of Lakshmi and Narayan? Because of not having this knowledge, they have shown Sri Krishna in the copper age. They say that the, cup, that the knowledge of the Gita was given in the copper age. It is so difficult to explain to anyone. They say that knowledge has continued from time immemorial. However, from when is it time immemorial? No one knows this. They don't even know when they begin worshipping and this is why they say that they don't know the creator or the beginning, middle or end of the world. Because of saying that the duration of each cycle is hundreds of thousands of years, they speak of time immemorial. They don't know the time or date at all. They don't celebrate the birthdays of Lakshmi or Narayan. That is called the darkness of ignorance. There are some of you too who don't understand these things accurately. This is why it is said, elephant riders, horse riders and infantry. The alligator ate the elephant. The alligator is big and he completely swallows you. Just as a snake swallows a frog. Why is dog called the master of the garden? The gardener? and the boatman. You understand that at this time, the father comes and takes you across the ocean of poison. He takes you across and this is why you say, take my boat across. You now know how you go across. Baba is taking us to the ocean of milk. There is no question of pain or sorrow there. You hear this and tell, Others, that the boatman who takes our boat across tells us. Children, consider yourselves to be souls. Previously, you were in the ocean of milk and you have now reached the ocean of poison. At first, you were deities. Heaven is the wonder of the world. The spiritual wonder of the whole world is heaven. Just hearing its name, you become happy. You stay in heaven. Here they saw the seven wonders. They call the Taj Mahal a wonder. 
but no one can live there you are becoming the masters of the wonder of the world the father makes such a wonderful paradise for you to live in you become multi millionaires for 21 births so you children should be so happy that you are going across to the other side you children must have gone to heaven many times you continue to go around this cycle you should make such effort that you go into the new world first you would not feel like going to an old house baba emphasizes that you have to baba emphasizes that you too have to make effort to go to the new world baba is making us into the masters of the wonder of the world so why would we not remember such a father you have to make a lot of effort see this world but don't see it the father says although i see everything i have the knowledge that i am the traveler for only a few days similarly you to have come here just to play your parts therefore remove your attachment from it acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father pap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharana number 1 remain constantly busy studying this spiritual study do not instill any bad habits like reading novels etc forget whatever you have studied up to now and remember the father second live in this old world considering yourself to be a guest do not have any love for it see it but don't see it blessing may you be an intense effort maker in the flying stage who flies with the wings of courage and zeal and enthusiasm the two wings of the flying stage are courage and zeal and enthusiasm to achieve success in any task it is very necessary to have courage and zeal and enthusiasm when there isn't any zeal or enthusiasm there is tiredness and those who are tired can not be successful according to the present time you will not be able to reach your destination unless you have the flying stays because the effort that you have to make isn't just this one birth whereas your attainment is not just for 21 births but for the whole cycle so when you have the recognition of this time in your awareness your efforts will automatically become intense slogan only those who fulfill everyone's desires are calm dhenu brickets the cow that fulfills everyone's desires om shanti